Whew. I gotta prepare myself for this one. Alright. Do it now. Oh, you won't do it ever. Hey kitties and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new, welcome, bienvenidos a todos to the kitty gang. And for those of you who have been rocking with me since the very beginning, thank you for your support. So this video, I mean, what can I say? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back and it has been such a long time since I have really like sat down and talked to you guys. It's definitely been some time. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you guys have probably noticed that I actually really haven't, you know, been posting um, as much. Um, I was posting at least once to uh, two times out of the week. And um, right after the holidays, I just kind of like fell off and um, I did a holiday look and then I did a vlog in January and then that's it. So I've been gone for about like three weeks, maybe four weeks now. Um, and this video is basically just going to be about my life update and positive affirmations and, you know, just catching up like chit chat life update. Basically, I was very hesitant to make this video just because I just have felt so like I wouldn't say unmotivated, but just I've I've had so many things going on in my life that for me, it's important when I sit here in front of the camera, I sit down and I'm completely genuine with you guys and I'm organic. That is something that is so important to me and I just haven't really been able to do that or give you guys that because I haven't been 100% with, with myself. I just, I, I haven't given myself the time to like really like center myself and connect and there's just been so much going on that for me to sit down and film a video like I have to feel it like that's just who I am and how I am like if I'm gonna go into something I'm gonna go into it like wholeheartedly with full passion into it and honestly like today I I love that I'm sitting here because I'm at that place where I want to be like, you know, I sat down, I'm filming, I feel amazing. You know, I did my makeup, I did something a little different, like, and I feel good. And when you feel good inside, you radiate that in your exterior, you feel me? So I just wasn't feeling that, you know, like my, my interior internally and externally was just not matching. And for me, that's just, it's like, it, it was like that battle, you know, and that was one of the reasons why I haven't filmed. So some of you guys were like, mm, you haven't filmed, you haven't posted. And honestly, I'm going to sit here and say for on a positive note, thank you to everyone who has been patient, who still shows love on social media, on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, I will link down my usernames. So please feel free to follow me. I post a lot actually on Snapchat, a little bit more than Instagram, like stories. Um, I do post pictures, but I even fell off with my pictures. And I was just like, I was posting like maybe every two to three days rather than like on the daily. And I feel like that is just the Virgo in me, you know? And it's like, if you're a Virgo or you're a Virgo sign or whatnot, we are we're really introverted people at the end of the day like people who know me they're like oh you know you're outgoing you're this you're that like yes I'm I'm very extra and I'm very out there but at the same time there is that introvert part of me and it's always going to be a part of me I actually like that part of me but it can also be a little bit scary at times because as Virgos we tend to just when we're going through stuff like we have this poker face all the time. You know, it's like we don't wear our heart on our sleeves in a way. Like we mask those emotions very well. You know, that's just, I feel like it's, it's actually, people may see it as a bad thing and it could be sometimes, but not really. You just learn how to make it a good thing because at the end of the day, it is a good thing that we can mask those emotions in the sense that 
we feel like, okay, this is going on with my life, but I'm not going to take it out on the whole entire world, you know? We, we just don't like to burden, you know, people. And that's just how I am. For me, it's just like, if I'm going through shit, I'm, I'm going to, you probably, you're not going to know. Because I have that poker face. I literally will do whatever it is that I got to do to get through to, through that day. But sometimes it is hard. And only those that are closest to me, you know, know me enough to know when there's something wrong. And that's one thing I can say that I'm so blessed and grateful to have in my life is to have that support system. So with that being said, you guys are probably like, what is she talking about? You know, like this video is going to kind of be all over the place because it's really just life update and and just really wanting to touch a few topics that are important to me and that I need to put out there and bring awareness to. Basically, it was just after the holidays and like even during the holidays, um, and usually the holidays are a little bit of a, you know, harder month or, or whatnot. Um, a lot of emotions, like amazing emotions, but also a lot of, you know, sadness and things like that just because of things um, that have happened or current situations or, or whatever it is that it may be. Usually December is, is definitely like a, a tough month. Um, and I will share with you like one of the things that makes December a very tough month. Not only is it the holidays, but my grandfather like passed away in December like years ago. So it's already like his anniversary. On top of that, it is his birthday. And then it's the holidays. And it's just, it, it's really hard because you miss that person more than you already do, you know? And I was very close to my grandfather, especially um, like my sister and my mom. We were very close to him. So it just, it, it's a little bit of like a, um, a sad, you know, month to deal with. And, you know, you got to just be like, okay, you know, I miss this person. Just have them in your thoughts. Remember good, amazing memories um, and try to make the best out of it. But, you know, there's those days that you're like, man, you know, like, oh, we lost someone on, on this day. So December has always been a very, very tough month for me. And honestly, like, PSA, <laughs> um, I'm being very vulnerable with you guys in this video. Um, this is a side of me that you guys probably have not seen and I was very hesitant in, you know, coming out with this video and just being very vulnerable. But like I told you, I want to be as organic and genuine and let you know that I am human and I'm not just this little bubbly, you know, kind of girl, like very silly Latina, like on YouTube, you know, talking about makeup and hair and, and all that stuff. Like I am human and we all go through things and I want to be able to share my experiences with you guys and just let you know that you're not alone, you know? We all go through things and if I can sit there and help you guys out or be there for you guys, like I feel like that is my purpose in life is in is to teach about love, but you know, with love comes pain. So you you have to like you know, have both and be able to juggle both. And some people don't know how to do that. And I don't know either. I'm not an expert, you know, but I've gone through some shit in my life. And um, I do feel like I am a very strong person at the end of the day. But, you know, we all go through things. You know, life is all about ups and downs. It's it's like yin and yang. Like you, you got to have, you can't have one without the other. Back on track. December, then January comes in. And it's just, there's so many things that have been going on. And really, like, it just comes down to the fact that it is a time for reflection. Like, really, like, reflecting on yourself. Look at yourself, okay? And you have to ask yourself, do I like this person? And who am I? You know, I have to look at myself in the mirror and be like, who is Ashley Alyssa? You know? And where do you want to be? And are you proud of who you are? Or, you know, how do you feel within yourself? And, and you know, does your exterior match your interior? And I had to do that. And, and honestly, January was 
a very tough month. It was a it was a month of me literally like hitting a freaking wall, right? And just having to pick myself up and realize that there's some things that I really like need to work on and that I need to express and and you know, and it's not all negative stuff. Like it's also positive things. It's realizing your strengths and um after hitting that wall and just kind of crumbling down and realizing like why have I been feeling this way and it's just like sometimes you have to really pay attention to those signs that you ask for like that you pray for they are there you just have to have that awareness and it's just like hello like stay woke people stay woke (laughs) you know it's like I had one of those like awakening moments like you know, crash and burn type of moments where it, it just, it, it really, it comes down to, are you going to do something about this or are you just going to ride it out and, you know, see where it takes you? No, no, you know, and I chose to literally learn from what I am going through and it was just multiple things like, and everyone's going through things, you know. What I'm going through may not be, you know, as extreme to whatever someone else, like in another country who doesn't have a home or food or whatever, like, and sometimes it makes me feel anxious and silly that I'm like, oh my God, I'm stressing out about this, or, you know, I have so much anxiety about this, or, you know, this hurts me so much when someone is going through 10 times worse than I am, but you can't compare yourself. Yes, you can compare the fact that Someone else's situation may be worse, but at the end of the day, like everyone is on a different journey. And just because their journey may be hard in a certain situation doesn't mean that yours isn't just as hard. It's just different. You feel me? So you have to really realize that we're all going through things and how you deal with them is going to be the outcome of things. So... Just reflecting and we sometimes become the products of our own environments, who you've become throughout the years because of how you grew up, you know, your upbringing, the experiences you had as a child and things, you know, experiences that you've had throughout the years. But really, at the end of the day, when we're going through these like issues and emotional issues and you know, realizations and epiphanies of our lives and everything, it really comes down to sometimes it's the inner child in us. The inner child in us that is just trying to make his or her way through and heal. And when we go through these things, that's what life is all about. It's lessons, you know, learning the things that, you know, you develop throughout the years that may not be you know, that great or amazing things that you um, have learned and and grown to achieve and develop as you've gotten older throughout the years. So really just looking at myself and, um, and just like reflecting. And I really had to sit there and look and say, okay, you know, yeah, you got your shit together pretty, (laughs) pretty well. But there's some things that you need to improve on and there's always room for growth with us. You know, you never stop growing. You can't ever stop wanting to grow. And I feel like I fell off for a little bit. I lost sight of the things that are important, you know, the things that are valuable, not materialistic stuff, all that stuff, but like people, you know, and um, even the things that you do have the opportunities that you are given and yourself really like sitting there and what's important is waking up every day being blessed to see another day you know your health being able to like wake up and smell the flowers you know and being able to have a roof over your head being able to have a car from point a to b having a job you know having your little fur babies or having babies or whatever it is, you know, you sit there and you have to look at those things. And those are the things that matter.
But I felt like I just lost sight, like, of kind of everything, you know, and not even realizing it. And I think another reason why I lost sight is because I became so consumed in everyone else rather than myself, you know, because sometimes it's scary to sit there and and be quiet and listen to yourself and like be in your thoughts, you know, and I was just there for for everyone, you know, if someone needed me, I was there. But the people who I really needed to be there for, I I really wasn't, you know, I wasn't there for myself. So how am I going to potentially be there for, you know, my significant other 1000%? How am I going to be, you know, the best friend? How am I going to be the best daughter, the best granddaughter? Like, you know, those things, like it makes you think about that. It's just like people will gravitate towards you because of the energy that you put out. And I was putting out good energy, but sometimes there is people in this world that they will suck the energy out of you. They really will. And it's not because they mean to sometimes, but sometimes they do mean to. And, um, you know, sometimes they just don't, but they just might be vibrating at a lower frequency than you are. And when you're vibrating a little higher energetically, like, it's normal for you to gravitate towards that, you know? So you you can, you know, rise together. But I just, I was just so consumed with everything else, like in my thoughts. Um, I had an extreme amount of anxiety. It was not fun, not a good place to be. And anxiety is something that is not a good thing to deal with. Like some people, they just don't know like what it is to deal with anxiety and it's it's not fun. It really isn't. I don't want you guys to ever feel like ashamed of it or anything like that. There's there's nothing wrong. There's just a way to reprogram yourself and to think differently. And and we get these anxiety like we have these anxieties because we're not dealing with certain emotions, you know? When you suppress so many emotions, that anxiety like just literally it like flows out of you because you have so much of it like you are like flooded in anxiety like you're just like drowning in anxiety because you have some suppressed emotions that you have not dealt with with certain things and that's where you have to dig deep so I really had to dig deep and I'm still in the process of it but I am okay you know and it was it was rough (laughs) <laughs> like it was rough and there's days that are like you have your good days and you have your bad days and you have some days that are amazing and you have some days that are not that great but you make them a good day so you know when you get yourself in those ruts you have to like literally like climb out of it and say okay I am strong enough to get through this What is it that I need to do to get through this, to move forward from this, so I can learn from this, so I can be better from this, and I don't have to go through it again, but if I do go through it again, I know how to deal with it. So it's just, it's just reprogramming yourself, really, and and the way that you think, and the energy that you put out, and the way that you speak. You know, whatever you put out is what's going to come back to you. If you talk negative all the time, that's what's going to come back to you. And, you know, if you complain all the time, well, then don't expect great things to come to you because you're complaining, you know? It's like, stop complaining. And that was another thing, you know, I was like complaining about things and you just, you need to just stop, stop, you know? And I had something, you know, happen in my life that was very scary and it was just like whoa you know picturing my life um how it could have went literally was just like no 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 no. (laughs) i need to make some changes like you know it's just you just you realize what's important at the end of the day I realized that my strength, because sometimes 
you know, we don't give ourselves like a pat on the back or, you know, we don't sometimes compliment our own selves. We don't uplift our own self sometimes because we do get caught up in uplifting others or making other people feel better or whatever it is, you know, but you don't realize how strong you are. And I want you guys to know that you all have that powerful strength inside you to get through whatever it is that you need to get through. And this is something that I actually like posted on Instagram. It's of my angel wings on my back. And my back is like fully tatted. And while I posted it, I was looking at that picture and I reflected on the fact like where I was at that point in time, what was I going through? What was the purpose? What was the meaning of everything? And what I, the, the physical pain I dealt with, but also the emotional healing. And it was super therapeutic for me. And when I looked at that picture, it made me realize like, wow, you are very strong. Like you, the power that is inside you is something that you don't even realize sometimes. Like you don't, realize like we sometimes don't have the capability of stopping and realizing the immense strength that we have inside us we just don't and I looked at that picture I was like girl you're strong you are strong if you were strong enough to go through something like that that is physical you're strong enough to deal with the emotional as well too and I wrote on the caption you know the beauty of pain is to find that inner strength in you. Like, you know that you have this amazing, strong, like, inner strength inside you. And that is the beauty of pain. That's the beauty of pain, is to find that inner strength that we all have inside us. So after, you know, seeing that picture, I just realized like, girl, you got this. Like, get your life together, you know, and um, do the things that you have to do to, to better yourself and to be the best person that you can be and to be, sorry, I'm playing with my hair because I don't know what is going on with it. Like, I'm trying out new products right now and it's just, I feel like it's a hot mess right now. Just spending a lot of time with yourself quietly. Like really being quiet. Whether you're driving, don't don't turn on the radio. Just drive silently. Um, and being in your own thoughts, thinking about things like what can you do to change things and what is the best thing for you? Like, how can you be the best person that you can be, the best version of yourself? Just spending time with you, you know, doing yoga, meditating, you know, go outside, be with Mother Nature, you know, things like that. I, I'm i still working on it and I'm still doing those things and I'm going to continue doing those things. But that was the reason why I fell off because I was just going through so much, like, in my life that I, I just needed to kind of stop the social media, not worry about all of that and focus on me so I can provide you guys with the bombest videos, you know, like, so I can give you guys some good content, like things that you guys want to watch and like make this fun and, and get to know me more. I didn't want to just come on here and like do makeup and pretend that like life is peaches and freaking rainbows, you know, it's just, no, no, <laughs> I, I, I needed to worry about me. So now I can be the best version of myself each and every day. And that's why I have been gone, um, for some time. And I want you guys to know that it's okay not to be okay. Don't feel horrible. Don't feel shame. Don't feel embarrassed. It's okay not to be okay. And if you don't have a support system, it's it's okay. I know that it, it may be harder, but that's where you got to dig a little deeper for that, you know, support system. 
I know what it is to not have anyone in certain stages of your life and literally feel very alone. But I want you to know that you are not alone. You truly are not. I am here for you. I know that I can't physically touch you or whatnot, but I am here for you guys. If one of you is going through something and you have nobody to talk to, please, please feel free to like reach out to me. You know, if you guys don't want to write it down in the comment section, you guys can go onto my Instagram or, you know, my Snapchat and you're more than welcome to send me a DM and just vent if you need to. And I will try my best to be there for you, to respond to you and just know that you are not alone. Like we are all going through things, you know, we all sometimes battle with like anxieties and depressions and you know, life altering situations and, you know, some really hurtful things, but it's, it's okay because you're going to get through it. Like this feeling is temporary and it will get better. And I'm very blessed and grateful that I have an amazing support system. I literally want to sit here and thank like my fiance for always pushing me, you know, to better myself whether we're going through things like good and bad I feel like even when we're going through bad you know situations or tough situations or happy situations like she's always pushing me to be a better version of myself even when she doesn't know it and that I am so 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 grateful for but guys just just know that I am here for you and I want to be here for you if, if you don't have anybody. And if you do have someone, reach out to them. You know, if even if you're scared, even if you like don't know if they're going to be there for you or you feel ashamed or embarrassed or you don't want to bother them. Like if you truly need someone, don't feel like you're not like like you're just alone and no one's there to help you. Like, reach out to a best friend, a sister, a mom, a, a cousin, whatever. And if they truly love you, they will be there for you. It's okay to ask for help. You know, it's okay to ask for someone to just hear you out. It's okay to ask for a listening ear, you know? But also be open to constructive criticism. That's another thing for me is... I have to be able to accept that and be okay with it because the moment that you are okay with constructive criticism, that means that you're just open to growth and you're just open to being like, okay, open to the opinions of others, but not letting it affect you, you know, internally or emotionally or mentally or anything of that sort. That's your opinion. Okay, cool. Like take it, learn from it, take what you need from it. And then what you don't need from it. Take it with a grain of salt, you know? I hope I made some sense to some of you guys. Um, but I'm excited for, you know, this month of February because I'm going into it with a completely different perspective, view, vision, like goals. I've, I've set monthly goals for myself. And with that being said, February is all about literally being confident. Like, that is... February's positive affirmation. I am confident. And that could mean so many things, but remember to recite it, believe it, hear it, like say it, and literally, truly, truly believe your words. I am going into this month super positive and really just like not being hard on myself, but pushing myself to be the better me, like be the best version of myself and give it to the people who are worth it. Because I saw this while I was on Facebook. It was a video from Will Smith and he explains that sometimes you give your energy to the wrong people and you don't have to give your energy to everybody. Don't feel like you have to please everybody. Don't feel like you have to give your time to every single person that wants your time. Because some people, they're not worthy of your time. They're not worthy of your energy. So don't give them that. The people that are, that's who you give your energy to. Find the people that fuel your flame. And that's what he said. Find the people that fuel your flame. If they are not fueling your flame and they're diminishing that and they're burning out your flame, where well, you have like, Charcoal, carbon, like, and you're left with ashes? No, no. Have people that will literally 
fuel your flame, that make you shine bright, that make you radiate like this amazing white light that surrounds you. And always remember to shield yourself. Create this beautiful white light that always surrounds you when you go into a place, when you meet new people, even with people who you know, or even going into a negative situation or talking about a negative thing or just encountering different things. Just remember to always shield yourself from anything that does not serve you because you need to take care of you. You need to worry about you first. So remember to give your energy to those who are worthy of it. And it's okay to say no to other people. And it's okay to not let everybody into your life. Your life is a gift that you give to others and others give to you. So if you're giving yourself to someone and they're not giving it back to you, that, that's not how it works. It's a 50-50. It's a two-way street in everything that you do. When it comes down to like relationships, friendships, work, you know, it's a 50-50 type of thing. And each side has to give a thousand percent you can't have that you know one half is and the other half isn't like it just it doesn't flow right you know it's like how I said yin and yang equal parts that's what it's all about so just remember to be confident recite it and say I am confident enough that I'm gonna accomplish these 10 goals I'm confident enough that I am going to get through this horrible time in my life. Be confident enough that you can love someone to the best of your ability and give them your all. If they're giving you their all, you know, remember that there's two things, confidence and strength. With those two, the world is yours. Like you can literally like conquer the world. And that is, that's like my goal in life. Conquer the world in so many ways. Like, I I got this. Just take over the world, you know, and spread love. That is what it's all about. That's what I want to do. I want to conquer the world and spread love. So that's my vibe. It's a vibe. This is it. Caso cerrado. Okay, case closed. Just know that you guys have a place in my heart. I thank you guys all for your support. I thank you guys for your unconditional love and being so patient with me. Know that you are not alone. I am here. You're part of the fam. Like, hello, kitty gang. You guys are part of it. If you guys need me, I am here for you. Please try to live the most positive life. Try to live your best life, okay? I love you guys so very much. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to also check out my Instagram and my Snapchat. It is Ashley underscore Alyssa. Go check me out. If you guys want to hit me up, please feel free. I'm open to questions. And thank you guys so much for your love, support, and I will see my kitties very, very soon.